So I'm sure we've all received text messages before, whether they were ones we wanted and not. And I'm sure if we had some type of appointment coming up, you get that reminder text message of, hey, your appointment's on this day at this time. And if you guys are like me, maybe you're a little curious and you're like, hey, how hard is it to create a project that can send and receive text messages? Well, by harnessing the Twilio API, it actually makes it super easy to integrate SMS into all types of applications. Now, let me show you guys how to use the Twilio API to send and receive messages using a .NET 6 API. So first, just quickly guys, for those of you that may not know what Twilio is, it's basically a company that makes APIs that can be consumed, obviously for a fee, which provide programmable communication tools for making and receiving phone calls, sending and receiving text messages, and performing other communication functions using its web service APIs. In our example, we are gonna be harnessing their APIs for texting. But before we get into the video, if you guys find this video helpful, please drop a like on this video so it can spread to more developers and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the more awesome content. But now onto the project. So as you guys can see, the first thing I did was just create a .NET 6 web API. I deleted all the default stuff. Uh, but before we dive into the code, I actually want to go to Twilio and show you guys what you kind of have to do on the dashboard uh, when it comes to getting a number and whatever setup you have to do in there. Let me just show you guys really quick and then we can come back and actually start writing the code. What I want to do now is actually walk you guys through the Twilio console and make sure you guys have exactly what you guys need for our project to work correctly. So once you guys obviously come to the Twilio console, you'll see that you'll need to make an account. Uh, don't worry about having to pay. Twilio does give you some type of trial period and they do give you a trial number to use. The only downside is that it, it will have like a little watermark message basically that says, hey, this is a Twilio trial number. Once you buy an actual number, that message will obviously go away. Um, but once you get in and you have your account and you get the trial number, you should be able to see it under active numbers. It will be a trial number and then you'll have that there. The other thing I do want to point out is if you go to monitor, uh, and you look under your logs, this is where you're going to find like error messages from when Twilio is talking to your API later on. You'll be able to see and then click under there and Twilio will show you like any error messages or things that are going on. This was from my test last night. And just to show you guys that like you can actually get useful information and it's right here. You don't need to freak out. Uh, but that's all I really want to show you for right now. I think now we should go back to the code and actually show you the code to send and receive text messages and get into all the Twilio good stuff. Okay, so now that we're back at our project, the next thing that we're going to want to do is actually install the NuGet packages for the Twilio libraries that we're going to need. So we're going to need two libraries for this. We're going to need the Twilio library and the Twilio.NET Core library. So let's go find those. So first we find the Twilio.NET Core. We're going to need to install that one into our project. And then we need to find this Twilio library and install that one as well. Just confirming that I have them both installed. But once we have both of them installed, we are good to go. These are the only ones that we actually need. So the next thing I want to do is create the one model that we're going to be using. And this is going to be to capture the form that the Twilio webhook will send us whenever someone replies to our trial number or our phone number that Twilio gives us. So I have my models folder now, and now I want to create a model. I'm going to call this model Twilio SMS. So our model is only going to have two things, the from and the body. From is basically who texted us. And then the body is going to be the body of the message. And that's all we're going to need in this model. Now let's actually go ahead and create our receive SMS controller and our send SMS controller. Okay. As you guys can see, I've created two controllers right here, the receive SMS controller, which just like, you know, defaults and the send SMS controller. So now let's actually start implementing the send SMS because the first thing that we want to do is actually prove that we can use this API to send a message out. As you can see, I'm at my send SMS controller. This is where I'm actually going to be sending text messages out. Now let's start putting the code in. Change this to a controller base. Let's add our stuff for our controller here at the top, our route and our API controller. We get rid of this because we have no views. Then let's add in the stuff for our sending text method. As you guys can see, it's going to be an HTTP post and we have one parameter of phone number. This is going to be the phone number of the person we are going to be texting, not ours. The next thing that we're going to need is the Twilio client dot init. This is basically where we start constructing the message. We need to import Twilio here. And then you're going to be maybe a little confused where these two values are coming from. Well, I hope you didn't close your Twilio tab, open that back up and scroll down here and you'll see account info. And this is where you get those two values. Copy them and move them here. I'm going to blur mine out, but you can just put them at the top. And that's where these two values come from. The next step here is we're going to actually do the message part of the text. So we're going to get this code in here. We're going to see that we have the body, the from and the to. So from is our number. So I have my trial number in here. 
two is the phone number I said we were going to be texting. And then I set the body. Hi to YouTube from my .NET 6 API using Twilio. Next, we need to import the Twilio REST API v2010 account. Import that. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is return status code because we are just basically sending back like, hey, this is the ID of the message we sent out and we said it's, you know, 200 OK. But at this point, the text message will be sent and that's all we need for this part. Now let's do the receiving a text message. Now, guys, we're at the receive SMS controller. This is where we're going to be capturing the responses to our Twilio phone number, as well as doing a little automatic reply. And I'll show you guys how to do that. It looks very easy, but there's a lot of little things, so don't miss anything. First things first, we need to set our controller as a Twilio controller. Then let's set our normal traditional decorators at the top, API controller and route. Let's delete this view because we have no views. And now let's set our method up. We're going to have an HTTP post send reply. We need to import everything. So import .NET Core here and import our model. And we're going to have basically just two lines of code and then our return. We need to import for our messaging response. And now what is this? This basically is going to send an automatic response to the person texting us. So when I text this number, it's basically going to reply to me an automatic text in just these two lines that says, Hey, this is me replying from the API. And I'm going to be showing you all of that when we actually test this application out. And then the last line to this is just going to be my return. Twee ML. Make sure that's there. Don't just return something else. You have to return this as well as this needs to be there and this needs to be there. If not, it's not going to work and you're going to be super confused. But this is the easy way. This will capture your response here. And then you could obviously, if you wanted to log the text message, you could do something else with it. You don't have to send an automatic response. Obviously, if you wanted to just capture the text message to then like kind of load it up and show it somewhere else in some other application, you could. But if you want to just send like an automated response, like, hey, thank you for replying. This is, you know, the machine, the computer, the application just saying, hey, we got it. Believe it or not, guys, this is all the code that we need for sending and receiving. But now you might want to say, hey, I want to test this. I want to see if it works on my local host. Well, for that, we're going to need a tool called ngrok. Ngrok will expose our local host API to the Internet so that the Twilio webhook can actually hit it and we can actually debug on our logos. And now let me show you guys actually how to set all that up. To actually download ngrok, you go to ngrok.com backslash download. You're gonna see the download right here. I'm gonna put the link to this in the description as well as all the code that you guys have seen today, I will put on my personal GitHub and the link to that will also be in the description. Once you have it downloaded, it's super easy, nothing complicated. You'll see the little logo right here. You open it up and you're gonna get like a little terminal window. And we're not going to do anything with this yet. First of all, I want you guys to actually run the project. Now that we have our API running, we can see that we have our two endpoints, send reply and send text. But why did I want you guys to run this before using ngrok? Well, because I want you guys to take note of the port and kind of this URL right here of localhost 7181. And it'll be obviously different for whatever project you have. But we are going to need this for ngrok. We're going to take this, take a note of it. Then we're going to go back to ngrok. And now we're going to actually do a command and this is going to actually give us a URL that then we're then going to go and paste in the Twilio console. So that Twilio hits ngrok and ngrok forwards the message to our API. And this is the command to do that. And the command is as follows. It's ngrok space HTTP space the URL to your port space dash dash host header equals localhost colon and then your port again. Press enter. So as you can see, we have this forwarding URL that ngrok gives us. You want to copy that. And why do we need this? Because this endpoint is going to be the endpoint when we receive, when we receive. So it's going to be the send reply endpoint. So we're going to need this backslash API receive SMS backslash send reply. So we're going to copy this, open up your Twilio console. Once you get to your active numbers, you're going to click active numbers, your number, scroll all the way down to messaging. And then you're going to go in here and you're going to copy in your URL and then put backslash API backslash receive SMS and then backslash send reply and leave this like this and save it. So what did we just do? Basically, this URL, whenever we text your Twilio number, Twilio will see this and be like, OK, I have a message. Let me forward this on this web hook. So ideally, if you were in production, you would have a production URL to your API, and that's what you would put here. But for testing locally, you obviously can't do that. 
So you need to have ngrok to forward this along to your application running in localhost. And once we click save, we can go back here and now we can actually test our application and I will be doing it by texting from my phone and I'll show you guys the recordings from my screen intertwined with the application and debugging and all that stuff. Now that we have ngrok set up and we actually have our API running and everything in Twilio is good. Now we can actually test our application. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually text my phone using this method that we have right here, which is just this Twilio client with our body of our message. We're gonna be texting hi to YouTube from blah, 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 blah to my phone number. And we'll be doing that. And we can just do that straight from Swagger. We don't even need ngrok for testing this. So let's actually go ahead and do that now. Now that we have Swagger open, I'm gonna text myself. I'm gonna blur out my phone number so you guys don't see it, but I just typed in my regular old American phone number, and now we are gonna execute. I put a breakpoint here so we can see we're gonna get our phone number in here. I'm not gonna hover over it, obviously, and then we're gonna go through, and this is gonna boom, boom. Good, continue. And as you can see, if we scroll down here, our reply is 200, and we get the message ID of the message that we created, and I can show you guys here uh, what my phone saw. As you guys can see, I got on my phone a text message from a number 831-525-9256, which is the trial number that I got from Twilio. And you can see sent from your Twilio trial account, hi to YouTube from my .NET 6 API using Twilio, which is the message that we have up here. So that is how you guys can send a message to a phone. It's as simple as that. So now let's actually receive a reply from the number that we just texted. And to make sure that that works, we need to make sure that we have ngrok running. So we have that proper URL set in the webhook of your Twilio phone number in the messaging section. And then we need to make sure we have a breakpoint and obviously your API is running. And then all you should have to do is just text yourself back. And that's as easy as just replying, hey Twilio, send. And when you send, you should see that you hit your breakpoint right here. And then you should be able to just step through and this should send a reply back to your phone saying, hey, this is me replying from the API. What's up, YouTube? And that's the message that we wanted right here. You should be able to see it on your phone if you texted yourself correctly. And if you want to make sure that everything went through, you can check a few places. You can go back to ngrok and you should see that you got requests because it's letting you know that it forwarded these. As well as you can go back to Twilio and look in your message logs and you should be able to see the body of the message you texted and everything that's going in and out. And if there are errors, you should be able to click in here and check that. And that's another way to just make sure that everything is working correctly. So that is all the code that you need to be able to send and receive text using Twilio, obviously inside of a C-sharp.net 6 API. Just remember to use ngrok to test locally. And if you're gonna actually use this in production, you need to replace that ngrok URL with whatever production URL you're actually gonna have. But now let's say you wanna take this application to the next level, give it a nice interface. You wanna integrate this API with a beautiful front end language, maybe like Angular. Watch this video right here to take this project to the next level.